what's up everybody it's vr gamer dude here and tonight prepare to be scared because i know i am so i was over on reddit today and i caught a post that i have been waiting for a long time to see and that is one of my favorite horror experiences in vr one of the original horror experiences in vr has been updated to support oculus touch you guys have been asking me to do some more horror I found this fitting, so we are going to once again traverse into the depths of Dread Halls. Let's go. All right, here we are, and we're in game. And man, let me tell you, the hands that they have rendered in the game are absolutely beautiful. So I've already got my options set. So it looks like we've got the option to start a new game or play a random map. I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game so we can kind of take it slow because I know it kind of builds on you a little bit. And it does say this is a intense horror experience featuring scenes of a disturbing nature. So player discretion is advised. So if you are the squeamish type, it's time for you to nope out because we are going in. Okay, wow, man. Okay, so this is the first time I've played this in the CV1. Um, I've played it in DK1, I've played it in DK2, I've played it in Gear VR, but I've never played it in CV1. And oh, look, I've got a lantern. How cool is that? Now, one thing about this game that I did read on Reddit, it is not room scale, so this is going to be more of a 360 standing experience. Apparently, if you walk too much off of your center point, It'll kind of mess up your tracking. So what the uh, developer said to do is just click down on both of your sticks and recenter your head tracking. So, all right, so let's see here. Point with my right hand and press the trigger to pick up. There we go. A bottle of oil, you can use it to fuel your lamp and right trigger to collect it. Okay, now this one also does have traditional movement. Um, I have decoupled the head so that I can move in one direction and look in the other. So awesome that they actually gave us that option. Um, all right, so there we go. I can't wait for you. Not anymore. Not here. There's an exit. The stone face told me I'll be there. I'll wait for you there. Follow my trail, find the eyes, find the exit. All right, so first and foremost, right off the bat, one thing that I did find a little dis, uh, disorienting is, is, you know, I've got hands and I can grip. Why did I not just grab that scroll? So that's kind of strange that I have to point at something and then pull the trigger just to pull it up. But, you know, it's the early days of touch support here. Okay, so right hand trigger and turn your hand to the left or right. Oh, okay. There we go. Also, another strangeness. You'd think that I would just reach out and push the door open. Not knocking it though, because... <laughs> okay, and it looks like you've got your traditional turn here on the right stick and your move forward and strafe on the left stick. So just the way I like it. All right, and I don't need to customize my rotation speed because I've got it right where I want it. See, yeah, I should just be able to like reach out and pull that door. So. Okay. So yeah, I see what they were talking about. My movement's already gotten off just a little bit. Okay, so with my left hand, press X or Y to open my inventory. Place the bottle inside your lantern and release the trigger. Oh, did I do that? Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and get down the hall here. Got some lock picks and some more oil for my lantern, which I am desperately going to need. And oh, there's my map. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All right. So you can see, you can just hold your map here, and that is fantastic. Okay, that's the way I already came. 
Now, obviously with all of this smooth rotation and turning, it does have the options for place the lock pick here and release the trigger. There we go. Um, it does have the option to turn on the snap rotation if you're a little prone to the uh, VR sickness. Um, luckily, I am not. All right, second scroll here. At first, I was confused. My head throbbed, and I felt nauseous. It took me a long time to unlock my cell's door. The other cells were empty, but I heard strange noises coming from the corridors. It sounded like someone whispering. Okay. But what I was getting at is, is if you're prone to the motion sickness, you might want to turn that on because that kind of stuff right there can get you. Oh, oh, very cool. Okay, so just like the Gear VR version. Now, this, this room wasn't in the originals. And it's a very, very cool looking room. I love the lighting in here. Alright, looks like there's a receptacle for something. Anybody in there? Hello? Oh, there's my run. Okay, so run is on the left touch grip button. Very cool. Oh, forgot about that. What is your question? What is your favorite color? No, sorry. I had to go there. All right, so you have five old coins. Do you wish to pay the price? Yes, I do. Okay, so I can ask who she is, how I got here, or about this place. So I want to know about this place. A safe haven for the pillars to keep them hidden and protected from the outside world. Man, that looks so cool how the eyes follow you. Love this game. All right. So let's come down here. Oh. So cool how you... Oh, nice lighting effects. Okay, very cool. Very cool. You can tell by my voice that I'm getting nervous because I have played this on Gear VR, so I know <laughs> here pretty soon it's going to get real. Okay. Really nice lighting from the lamp, though. Oh, okay, so it looks like run is either one of the grip buttons. I got me an eyeball. Oh, getting tired there. Gotta stop running. Nice effect. Ah, that ceiling is low. It makes me feel like I need to duck. Okay. There we go. Must be another eye further inside. Okay. So, for those who get a little squeamish with the horror games, this is probably where you want to start thinking about noping out. I 
the shadows. Interesting. Okay, I was like, why can't I see my map? You actually have to hold the light up to it. Very cool effect. Nicely done. I like how the lamp kind of sways in your hands, too. some old bones. Keep that light going. Definitely not the kind of place you want to get stuck in the dark. Whoa, oh. sound in here is like making it so ominous. Ah, another scroll. Oh, no, I wanted to read that scroll. Oh, man. Okay, that would be cool if there was a way that I could go back and read the scrolls should I inadvertently do what I just did. Oh, why? What? No. Uh-uh. Crap. I think I just trapped myself. Okay, the music calmed down. Oh, man, you really do. Dread halls ain't kidding. You get this sense of dread in here, and I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like such a simple game. You know. Oh. It's like you hear these noises and, I mean, oh my god. Uh-uh-uh, no, uh No, that's the beginning. Crap. Gotta stop running. I'm gonna tire myself out. A desk. Can I... There we go. That's like I heard a door open. Uh-uh. 
It's like, is that my footsteps or is that somebody behind me? It's like I get this ominous sense that there's somebody behind me and it's like freaking me out. Oh God. Spooky lady, are you still in here? Can you leave now, please? I need to read this scroll. I was free. I was in a forest. A light, refreshing rain was falling. I could hear birds. Did it really happen? Was it a dream? Oh, and spooky lady left. Cool. Thank you, spooky lady. I'm gonna take your stuff now. The stone face said, I came here to be judged. Did I? I remember the thrill, my heart beating fast at the idea of visiting this place. It was too strong, too difficult not to do. Nothing in the bucket. Oh, yeah, it's the worst thing in. Oh, my God! Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, bro. Um, yeah, you're not looking too good. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, where? gonna take your oil there dude I don't think you'll need it I forgot I can close doors. Yeah. Somebody want to tell me where this eyeball is? Because I've got lots of other body parts here, but I'm needing an eyeball to like put in the offering plate back in the room. Hey, bro, did you leave an eyeball anywhere? Um, kind of need one. Uh, 
Oh, hey, there you go. Sweet. Oh, nice. Don't go into the light, Carol Ann. Okay, whew. It's got my heart racing. Awesome, and it put me back out in the room. Hey, freaky face lady. Uh, you gonna come out and talk to me again? Oh, there it is. I feel like I got a duck again. Cannot believe I'm playing this right before bed. This is going to give me some totally messed up dreams. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was freaky. You gonna chase me down this hall? I'm just gonna close you in the door. Oh God, there's your brother. Oh! It's like I knew it was gonna happen. Not, I mean, I've never been this far. Oh, oh my God. Now it's like freaking turning to face me. Just back away. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, it's just, you stay there, okay? Um, we, we'll have none of that, thank you. Oh, some pleasant music. I'll take the happy, cool music, thank you. Makes me feel more secure. Nice ambient tracks too. Really digging the music. Just the little tiny nice little scores you get and then the ominous music when the monsters are coming up. Very cool. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing whispers.
the happy cool music went away. That can't be good. Oh, oh. That's probably not a good sign. Why did I come back in this door? Um, oh yeah, because I need to find this third eyeball. Oof! Uh-uh, 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 get, 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 close the door! Oh my god! <sighs> just, just, just stay here, just stay here. Just make it go away, make it go away. Oh, Jesus, lady. Ah, oh, I can't run anymore. What the hell, lady? Where's my happy cool music? This is the happy cool music place. Make the monsters go away. Whew, okay. That literally got my heart beating. Okay, not cool. Not cool. Scared VR gamer dude to hell. What? Oh, no, uh no. uh. Uh uh. Big monster dog. You don't see me. I'm going to go this way. Nothing. Eh, got a chair. I should probably sit down for a minute. Catch my breath. I found Irvin, or what remains of him, which isn't much. No reason to feel sorrow, though. He knew as well as any of us what we were getting into. Well, Irvin, you're probably one of those skeletons. Uh-uh. No! Uh-uh! I was never scared of small places, but the walls of these narrow corridors seem to surround me at all times. I feel confined, entombed. It's difficult to breathe. You know, you ain't kidding. Sid was the one who opened the passage. It wasn't easy, though. We met in the cellar next to Roseberry Street, each one of us with a token of sacrifice, hair, blood. I brought my dad's picture, and then we burn it all. Uh, uh-uh. Where are you at? I can hear you. I can hear you. Crap, I need to go this way. Oh, hey, 
Cool. Freaky face lady. You gonna talk to me again? You gonna tell me some stuff? Yep, there you are. What is your question? Yeah, I wanna know about the exit. The exit is through the pillars. They will take you where you wish to go if you step between them. Uh, okay. So I guess I gotta find three more eyeballs for that. Or two more. How about you, freaky lady? You wanna tell me some stuff? Why did you wake us? Lumps of bone, flesh, and skin. Mindless wretches pieced together by the shadows from the remains of their preys. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, close the door. <laughs> Would you please close the door? Good shadow. When we were younger, we used to go hunting for ghosts at Browley House. Our steps echoed in the empty corridors, and the wooden floor would creak and send shivers through our spines. But soon it got boring. It wasn't enough. Well, if it wasn't enough, come play this damn game, because it'll freak you the hell out. covered this entire level. You got something to say to me? That's what I thought. Speak now. We are beholders. We are listeners. We hold the memories of this place alive in the absence of our creators. We watch and we remember. Okay. There's three eyeballs down. <sighs> All right, here we go. OK. 
Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can he get through the dread halls? room here. Hey buddy, looks like you had a pretty bad day. Um, I'll just leave you to it then. Oh, what? No, no. Get me out of here. Uh -uh, what? What? Oh my god. Is that thing still in there? Because I kind of think I needed something out of this room. I'm unsure whether to trust what the stone faces tell me. They always seem honest, but I must remember they are a creation of the forgotten. They still serve them. I must be careful. Why did I wake up alone? I have no answer. My head still hurts, so perhaps I stayed unconscious for too long. What they would have but they would have waited for me. That is, unless they couldn't stay here any longer. Can I have that shield on the wall and maybe a sword? Oh, freaky. It's got some bump mapping on it. Um, oh, hey, scary lady. Um, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You don't have to ask me twice. What? Oh, no, no. -uh. Oh crap, I'm trapped. I uh, big fat ass couldn't fit through the door. Ha ha ha. Uh-uh, I hear you. Oh, no, uh-uh. Oh, what the... No, what the... <laughs> Sounds in here are enough to freak you the hell out. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Close the dang door.
Okay. No. -uh. Oh shit. Okay, so it looks like on this level I'm doing a lot of running and hiding behind doors. Let's go ahead and oil up my lamp. I've got plenty of oil. Freaky face. the one I don't like. I hear it. Hey, lady. Got some good news for me? What is your question? Forgotten. But we remember them. They are the <coughs> the fabric of reality. They created this place. Created us. Then they left through the pillars, seeking the thrones that lie between the worlds. Um, I would like to follow them, please. Thank you. And get the hell out of here. I don't want to be in your dread halls anymore. Oh god. Get here. Drawn here by the shadows, enthralled by them. It was you who stepped into the darkness. It was you who chose to be bound by it. You are nothing but their pawn. Ah, thought I was going to get stuck by those horns.
I'm not sure Irvin liked me hanging out with him and Sid. Perhaps it was because I was a girl and I made him uncomfortable. Sid, however, didn't mind. He loved to talk to me about his forays in alchemy, spiritism, and whatever he was researching at the time. I'm writing down these notes, scattering them around like breadcrumbs, so that if someone, you, find them, you can follow my trail. Perhaps we can help each other. But I wonder, who are you? Will I want to meet you? Okay. Eyeball. Yes. Victory. All right, cool. I got the fourth eyeball, y'all. What, what? I thought if I got the fourth eyeball, I just stood between the pillars and I could go home. But there's I already got all the eyeballs. Hey lady. Speak now. Well, you told me I had to get four eyeballs and I got four eyeballs, so what up, yo? In a gray place, far beyond these walls. A place where we have no eyes, where there is nothing worth seeing. Oh, that's freaky. Nice sense of depth. They are here. I know it. I can hear them breathing, just behind my back. As I write this letter, I'm going to turn around now. Do I want to turn around? Okay. C. 
Sid once tried to kiss me. We were talking about the Diana ritual, and he just tried to. I ran away, and the next day he didn't bring the issue up, but I still wonder. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, jeez, oh, turn, turn around, turn around! Oh, God! Oh, no, it got me. <sighs> that was a pretty good run without dying, though. All right, so... Try to buy light. Turn your lamp off if it's nearby. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, but you know what? I think we are going to go ahead and cap this video here. I just realized that it is way past my bedtime. Got to work in the morning. And uh, yeah, we've been it's a pretty long video already. But man, let me tell you, totally, totally recommend Dread Halls if you have not played this and you have the stomach for horror and full motion, you know, locomotion games. Man, this is absolutely stunning and terrifying and just everything you want in a VR horror game. So I'm going to throw a link down in the description if you want to grab this from the Oculus Store. Highly recommend you do so. But for me tonight, man, I got work in the morning. I played this way too late. Now I'm going to go have some really messed up dreams. So this is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.